Dawn here today. It is Tuesday and oh my gosh, look, it's sunny. It has been rainy and cold for several days, but it is sunny. This is my sister's backyard. She lives on a golf course. We're at on the first fairway and there's a lot of people running around in t-shirts today. It's a little too nippy for me. I'm just not used to it, and I'm good with that, so I'm wearing a jacket. But it is nice enough that I thought I'd come outside today and do my little spiel. So I wanted to pick up where we left off yesterday talking about exercise. Um, it's real important that you exercise. We know that, even though I don't like doing it. Um, I don't know anyone who likes doing it, but, you know, we have to. So, you know what? Um, I bought a lot of the new videos that are out today, downloaded some, watched on YouTube, and I just couldn't get into any of them. And I really missed one that I did from the late 80s. Uh, it's called Body Breakthrough, and it's the one that Nutrisystems put out at that time. Uh, I love that workout video. And... It took me a couple of years, but I found it. I found it, uh, somebody finally uploaded it on YouTube. I still have the VHS copy, but that doesn't do me any good when I don't have a v VHS player, and I didn't want to buy one just for that. So anyway, I found it on YouTube, Body Breakthrough, and I love that workout. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I actually just got done, which is why I'm a little winded. Um... If you're not used to exercising, you know, it's like I said yesterday, don't jump, don't just dive right in like you've been doing it forever because you're not going to feel like doing it tomorrow when you wake up sore and achy and it's just too much and you're overwhelmed. Don't dive right in like that. Let's see, which is the better way for me to stand? I think this way. Anyway, uh, I took the liberty of doing a little video of me doing extremely low impact now oh i have ha 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 i have um that is probably hummus on my face <laughs> anyway i took the liberty of doing uh just a, a minute of doing the video in extremely low impact okay you know, she has this doing feeling kind of a stretch through your foot let's add a little bit of arms now curl her legs spread apart Four. doing arm curls Five. Six again. Good. Now let's try that right heel four times. One, two, try to think about pointing your hip towards your knee. Left heel. Good. Just keep your arms relaxed. Right heel. But again. if you need to start out low impact, three, nice where you're not used to up. moving. Feels good in that back. Up and down. Now let's take the heels up, side to side. Heel. Just heel. Keep your legs heel closer together. Toe. Feeling kind of a stretch through your foot. Okay, instead of Let's doing this, of arms now. keep your legs Curl. closer together. Curl. Good. Just get your body used Five, to moving. Six, Don't again. punish yourself from day Good. one. Let's try You'll that get right there. Heel. You'll get One, there time. Where one you want to, you know, no pain, no gain. Your Left heel. Right now, just get used Good. to keep moving. Your arms relaxed. Okay? That's it. Like I said, during the first two weeks, don't worry about losing weight. Don't worry about even toning up your body. Get your body used to moving again. Um, you know, if you haven't exercised in a long time, you're going to be moving muscles you haven't used in a long time. And they're going to get angry. So just start out really super low impact. If they tell you to bring your arms up, just bring your arms up a little bit. You know, if they tell you to take really wide, and I can't get it with my... They tell you, hopefully I'm getting it. If they tell you to take really wide, you know, stances with your feet, just don't do what you can do that you know you're going to do it again tomorrow or every other day I'm, I'm actually walking every other day and doing my low impact aerobics every other day i also like the old uh richard simmons sweat into the oldies i love those they're fun he keeps you entertained and i'm not i'm just not all about the new ones that they're they're just not fun and oh my gosh they're so militant so if you've got a really old video uh, workout regimen that you like, I guarantee you can probably find it on YouTube. 
just do whatever it takes to get you to move if it's to move your body if it's getting outside and walking that's what you need to do so um, do what you enjoy regardless of what the professionals say you need to be doing now if it worked for you in the 80s it'll work for you now and that that was my opinion you know I used the Richard Simmons and the and the body breakthrough in the 80s and the 90s and stayed really trim and my body was pretty hardcore so you know what if it worked then it'll work now it's my opinion and even if it doesn't it'll get me moving get my body used to moving again and that's not a bad thing so okay awesome uh, next I want to talk to you about singing we said we were going to talk about singing today I am a singer um, I haven't sang professionally in a while I quit when I had my brain injury but I still love to sing and I tell you it's therapy for the soul so that is my Zen and I don't care you know I'll go out and sing karaoke once in a while I'll sit in with a band uh, that knows me and knows I can hold my own and uh, uh, you know but uh, you just you know do what you love to do and don't care what anybody thinks about it and post it post it you know post it get it out there um, I recently posted It's a Heartache by Bonnie Tyler. Um, I was singing it to someone because, as most of you know, uh, the ones watching it, when I first started making these videos, videos, you know that I'm going through a separation and we're actually talking about reconciling. But right now, I'm very untrusting. And which is one of the reasons I'm making these changes in my life. I don't ever want to have to depend on somebody like that again. And there's a line in the song, it's not right to need someone as much as I've depended on you. And you know, that's, that's true. That's true. Even in a relationship, we shouldn't depend on the other person. Now, in the scheme of life, okay, no one else is going to make you happy. You're the only one that's going to make you happy. And no one else is going to take care of you the way you do. Now, does this mean I don't expect my partner to take care of me if I have a, if I'm sick or in the hospital? Absolutely not. Your your partner is a is a complete and total asswipe if he or she does not help you when you need them. But the thing is, in ge generally speaking, in life, you should not need anyone. Adding another person to your life should be a bonus, not what's going to save you. So I recorded It's a Heartache, uh, just using my laptop, no, um, no mixer, no microphone, it's just me raw, you know, and believe me, Taylor Swift wouldn't sound as good, I'm not saying she wouldn't sound good, she'd still sound fantastic, but she wouldn't sound as good as she does if she weren't using a microphone that was mixing properly with the music and the tones and the highs and lows and all of that reverb wasn't all set properly but don't worry you know and I know that I, I know that I can do I can sound better using the proper equipment but it didn't matter I got it out of my system I sang the song I recorded it for prosperity I even posted it and I don't care if anybody liked it or not thumbs up thumbs down it doesn't matter I did it for me so do it for you if it's not that do something else if you like to write write a speech about letting go you know whatever it is you know so my it's a heartache was letting go singing that and I'm gonna put it at the end of this video you can watch it or not it doesn't matter but you just have to not be afraid to put yourself out there you have to not be afraid and one thing I'm kind of discovering in my letting go of depression um, you know we're sad because our parents didn't treat us right growing up in whatever way they ignored us uh, they abused us whatever whatever your story is and you hang on to that for the rest of your life but your depression is getting in the way of good people coming along and loving you um, and I know that's easier said than done, but that's exactly what happens. Your depression and your hanging on to what just isn't is keeping good people out of your life. Um, it's keeping you from embracing good people in your life if these people do want to come in. So 
do what you have to do. You know, I, you know, I have my Zen is what I call my Zen. The things I do to relax is, you know, I decorate cakes. I used to do it professionally. Um, I did really well at it, you know, um, decorate cakes. I also, um, I sew. I love to sew. Um, I know it's archaic and old fashioned, but I love to sew and I love to sew clothing for myself and other people. And it's really cool whether you're doing a cake or sewing, you know, you start out with this raw material that doesn't mean anything and you put it all together and you have, we have a work of art. So, you know, find your passion and do it and don't worry about whether you do it well or not it doesn't matter if you do it well the thing that is you're doing it and with practice you get better at absolutely everything so you know there's some things I want to do that I suck at like paper art you know paper folding and doll paper dolls those you know like the corn husk and that type of paper crepe paper I suck at that but there's enough things that I do well that I don't have to do absolutely everything well but if there's something you have a passion about even singing you get better with time you get everybody can sing you just have to find your song so anyway that's it for today uh, I'm having a great day it's sunny here in Alaska I am so happy and I don't know if I've told you, but I'm flying back down below on September 30th. So today's the 18th, I think, 18th, 19th. I don't remember, but I have 12 days, 11 days. I'm flying back on the 30th. <laughs> so I'm counting, I'm almost down to counting the minutes. Um, and then I, I, I fly overnight. So I land in Tulsa, Oklahoma, near my mom's house on October first and I am so excited so anyway y'all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow thanks so much bye there will always be haters there will be doubters there will be non-believers and then there will be you proving them wrong